started racing gravel rallying in North America in 2000 and I went full pro basically uh, in about 2005 and uh, then in 2009 won the North American Rally Championship. I, fortunately because I've been doing this for quite a while I've, I've got lots of, um, of my own ideas and, and sort of strategies for how best to make this work uh, strategically, how to attack the rally, how to take on our competitors, how to set up the car, uh, what's going to work and what's not going to work and, and because I've gone through these things quite a few times over the years um, you know hopefully I get it right more than I get it wrong and no matter how much you plan everything and do it all way ahead of time there's always something at the last minute so we're packing up right now I'm cutting tires in preparation for the snow rally um, and I think we're in excellent shape Small crest, 70 okay, right 5 short, 50. Left 5 plus, opens over crest. Oh, we just did two, first two runs through on shakedown here at the Scion on uh, the, the BFG uh, tractionized ice tires that we worked on last night. And uh, car feels great. We're going to um, change some tire pressures, try, uh, try the untractionized tires and, and see what works. Even on the fact that you're going to know that it's going to be snow or some kind of winter conditions, within that there's a whole range of possible conditions. There's deep snow, there's sort of medium snow, there's very light snow on top of ice, there's glare ice, there's soft ice, there's there being snow banks, there being no snow banks. So this year at Snowdrift in 2012, we had incredible glare ice. It snowed earlier in the week and then it got warm and then it froze again. And so we had this really diabolical situation of having glare ice roads with no snow banks on the side, which is pretty much the trickiest condition you can imagine. It's a very kind of psychological solo effort because you're out on the, in the woods, you and your co-driver, you're timed through these sections and you're flat out against the clock uh, in real world conditions. Snow, mud, rain, heat, dirt, tarmac, at night, in the day, in the winter, whatever it takes. It's just the hardest kind of driving that there is, I think, and uh, I find it extremely challenging and love it. I'll be honest, on the Friday, the first day in the car uh, at the Snowdrift Rally, I was really worried. Um, we weren't doing well. We were down to fifth overall. I was um, really struggling trying to force the car to go around corners. We had too much power, getting wheel spin everywhere. I came back. Uh, to the service area and uh, we discussed things and we went home to the house where we were working and, and I had to reset in my head what I was trying to get out of the car. I was trying to force it too hard. I had to pull back the reins. And, but then the good thing that went along with that is we were down in fifth place. So it kind of put the bit between our teeth or at least in my teeth to say, you know what, we're going to crack this thing. We're going to fix this. And um, I didn't want to let the team down. When you're, when you're flying down a country road at 100 miles an hour with no snow banks and just trees on the side of the road. You don't want to mess things up, but we were uh, we were given it, you know. And a few times I was bumping banks and spinning, but you have to do that a little bit if you're uh, if you're going to do well. And uh, we were right at ten tenths the whole day, and it was a real pleasure that we were able to claw back to second place. And that's such a great payback for us and for the team to realize that we were in such a difficult place on Friday night, and we had we had to work hard to make it work. And then we just started overhauling people, and people who thought that they were going to be ahead of us during the rally, or suddenly realizing, uh-oh, here, here they come, here comes the Scion. When you're on the podium with the champagne, it tastes a little bit sweeter if you really have to fight.